Hi YouTube, um, I'm Ocean Siren and I wanted to do a video to add on to something that Lady Grave Dancer and Sunshine Morning Ray had said about the use of animal parts. Using animal parts is not for everyone. Uh, however, for those of you that are okay with using animal parts, I wanted to give you another option, something that I had thought of after they had done that video. Um, and I had just been waiting for a chance to do my own, but I don't own a dehydrator, and although that's an awesome way to do chicken feet and all that other good stuff, um, I don't own a dehydrator, so for me, uh, it is easier for me to go to like a pet store, preferably an organic pet store or a higher end pet store. They'll usually sell a variety of parts. Um, I've seen chicken feet, I've seen turkey feet, I've seen horns. Uh, deer horn. I think I saw a bison horn at one point. Um, and those are great for wands if you were into that kind of thing. Or a temporary wand even. But uh, nevertheless, if you don't have a dehydrator or you don't have a, uh, a, a, a place to buy meat where they're willing to give you those feet and all that good stuff, um, going to a pet store and just picking up two or whatever you need at the time uh, is... It's a great option. I know that price differs depending on the store. The store that I found had chicken feet. I want to say it was 2 to $3 each. The turkey feet were a little bit more, naturally. They're a little bit bigger. Um, but, you know, check it out. You never know. Uh, there's always another option. There's more than one way to skin a cat, as it were. Uh, do I use animal parts in my practice? If need be. Um... I usually, if I'm doing a spell or something like that, I will usually use, if it's for another person, I will usually use their hair um, as a way to connect the spell to that person in a very direct way, a very streamlined way, no guesswork required, this is who it's for. Um, but animal parts have their place as well. It's not for everyone. But if it is for you, check out your local pet store. You may be surprised. They might have something for you. And also, for those of you who are in the broom closet, it is another way to get those parts without being suspect, you know? Um, if you go to your local meat market or whatever and they have chicken feet, you can always say, oh, it's for a chicken stock. That's easy enough. But if you're not comfortable with that, going into a pet store and buying a chicken foot for your dog, not so weird. You know what I'm saying? So depending on how far you are in the broom closet, I just thought it would be a good thing to suggest. So, you know, take it for what you will. Leave it if you like. That's fine. Um, but there you go. All right. So till next time. See you guys later. Bye.